New Google Sites is pretty amazing for, to help teachers and students create websites, but they haven't really set up a way for teachers to share a template of a Google site with the students. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do that. So Google Sites allows you to create websites. I've got a book report website that I want my students to fill out. Unfortunately, there is no way to save this as a template for the students to get their own copy to fill out. If I add them up here, they will edit this particular site and it won't make a copy for them. If you do the trick of up at the top, adding slash copy to the end, it doesn't work. It gives you an error. But I found a way to do it. This is my great book report and I want to do this as a template. Well, all Google Sites show up in your Google Drive. And here's my great book report showing up in Google Drive. Now, if I try to share it from here, it's the same thing if I shared it within Google Sites. It gives people access to edit that site, not make a copy. There's no way I can tell it to make a copy for each person. If I assign this file in Google Classroom, it will not make a copy for each person. The only way I figured out how to do that is by creating a folder. So we'll do that first. I create my Google Sites templates folder and I right click on it here just to get up the share. Now on that folder, I can share it with particular people or I can just let everybody, anybody in my domain use it, depending on how you want to set it up. I'm just going to right now let anybody in my domain can view it. They can only view what's in here. I'm going to copy that link because I'll need it later. So I created a folder and I shared it with the people I want to have access to it. And I shared it view only. Now I put my great book report over into that folder. Now it's going to say, hey, other people are going to be able to see this. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. So I'm going to switch to a student. And that link I copied, I could share this out into Google Classroom as part of the assignment. I could email it to them. Several different ways to get it to them. So there is my great book report, the Google site I want them to use. If they try to double click on it, it only lets them view it because remember, we gave them view only access. What they want to do is make a copy. And once they do the make a copy, creating a copy of my great book report, There's copy of my great book report. And now when the student clicks on it, they have their own copy of the template. Go through that one more time. As the teacher, I make a folder to put my templates in. Then I share that. And I can share it with a particular person, group, or I can share it to everybody. The secret is, no matter how I share it, I share it with read only access, viewer access. So if I shared, shared it with a particular person or group, I need to be sure I switch that over to view only. Once that's shared, I need to get this link of that folder because I'm in the folder right now, Google Sites. So I can send out this link in Google Classroom, email, however you want to get to it. The student would then go to that link and from there they would right click on it and make a copy or they can click on it and click on the three dot menu and make a copy. Now I'm going to have two copy of my great book reports but see I've got two. So you might want to rename those and I'm just right clicking. Depending on the age of students, right clicking can work, but I've found that once you tell somebody that they can right click, 
they'll constantly ask you, do I left click or right click? If you want to get away from that, you can tell them the single click on it. Oh, am I in my drive? And it doesn't work under the quick access, so there's another little headache. You have to be down in the list of files. And I like to view it as this, but they can click on the file and then all of those actions are also under the three dot menu. So that's how you can share templates of Google Sites with your students. Lickety split, no problem. If you found value in this video, be sure to like it. And also check out my website at educate.me. Stay classy.